I think you can still celebrate Valentine's Day without the gifts and stuff. Just not me, but <laughs> just not my brand. Can we have a relationship except me? I go wanna mjolo onyesa. Guys, what if it's just not your destiny to find to to be in a relationship? Yuri, <laughs> I don't like men. <laughs> I don't like men. Um, oh, let's spend the day just Netflixing and chilling and showering each other with gifts and eating the chocolate strawberries. <laughs> Getting dumped by every guy as the day approaches. And you said that pink black girls not area code. These black girls need to be in the shows. Be on the runways, not just move boards. On top of that, I want to see when your team look at your crown. Natural light to the Jericho. One time soft and sheen. Where black girl magic is sometimes blue. My broke hair raise my voice you're gonna say that i'm angry kiss my teeth and now you say that i'm hood kid at 16 you say it's my destiny driving a range you think i'm up to no good hey guys so this video is once again in collaboration with timi so timi is a lifestyle brand that creates all natural skincare and fitness products using plants so this is just a video of me showing you how i put it in a smoothie and i usually have the smoothie during brunch and to be honest i've seen changes in my energy levels especially while i'm um, working out anyway so um if you want to purchase this product please use the so 20 for 20 percent off your purchase of a minimum of 40 dollars and these are 15 for a purchase of 15 percent off of 29 a minimum of 29 dollars i hope you guys understand me but yeah hope you enjoy the rest of this video bye To my channel my name is Tisa Sidira if you're new so please remember to subscribe and watch these kind of videos I have playlists on my channel that you can watch and if you're a returning subscriber hi hi how are you I'm back with my bubbly self I'm very excited because one of my favorite holidays are coming <laughs> it's coming child Valentine's is coming oh, Valentine's is coming <laughs> I'm so excited. So of course, because a uh, Valentine's is coming, I decided to do a Valentine's themed look. Um, I'm not going to be doing my makeup in this video. I decided to do it off camera simply because I just want to focus on talking this time. I just want to give myself the platform and concentration to talk, okay? I just want to talk today. <laughs> I have a lot to say so i did a questions tab on instagram um asking people's opinions about valentine's day and the funny stories or embarrassing stories about valentine's day and what they thought about mjolo hella in general because i think it's something we need to talk about before valentine's day child i have a lot to say I have a lot on my chest and I want to take it out, okay? Anyway, so let's just get into this video. Um, the first one was like, I feel like I'm too young to give up. And when I look at my friends, they are all single because they've all lost hope because they've been hurt a couple of times. Me inclusive. But the dumb romantic in me says there's still someone out there for me and I won't find them if I constantly cock block myself. Facts and facts and facts and facts, child. <laughs> Honestly, no, I know her personally and I know that she is still too young to give up. Most of us are too young to give up, to be honest. And actually, there is no such thing. What am I even saying? I feel like even at um, 80 years old, you can still find love. Yeah, I'm that, I'm that girl. <laughs> I am that girl. I still, I feel like there is absolutely no reason to give up on love at whatever age you are whatever circumstance you are in but that's my two cents child and then there's one that says it's a no from me i'm not ready to place my heart in anyone's hands because they can simply drop it when they feel like it i mean uh, i don't think <laughs> Okay, you know what my thoughts are with this one? 
the thing is if you you can't find love or you can't be in a relationship if you are going to always think oh my gosh somebody might decide to hurt me this person might decide to hurt me anytime yes they may they are human they are going to hurt you in fact and they may drop you at any time especially like it happens it's life but i just feel like i just feel like at the end of the day if you found somebody that actually makes you feel happy for that time being then you should focus on that you know like you should um i don't know how to say it like you should fo live in the moment don't get into relationships thinking oh my gosh what if this person hurts me oh my gosh no like you always have to try and live in the moment and enjoy because you are literally stopping yourself from experiencing something so beautiful do you know what love is don't <laughs> if my mom watches this video if my mom watches this video, I'm dead if she's in the house right now. <laughs> yeah. Let's call her Jola, guys. <laughs> Stay single. Um, the other opinion says, me, I'll fight until the end. Men are a necessary headache. MP Luene. Yes. That is, that is me. That is me. I will fight till the end. You know, hey, let me tell you guys. Um, remember the time, these are, these are Q&A that I once did. Yeah, the C food um mukbang right and i was talking about uh my breakup the the like the deepest heartbreak i've ever experienced right and i told you guys hurry like it took me a while to like heal from that and at that time i used to think oh my gosh i'm i'm never gonna date again oh my gosh i don't like men and it's normal it's normal you're supposed to feel like that after a breakup but one thing about me is I will heal and I will jolla and I will continue and I will love. I will love like I've never been hurt before. That's one thing about me. <laughs> You'll never catch me giving up on Mjolo because Mjolo is nice. Especially if you're with the right people who are good for your mental health. If you're with people who you, who actually bring out the best in you. Ah, nice, nice things, guys. I'm not. I'm not the day by Mjolo. <laughs> Yay! See, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and I know it's true. Okay, let me tell you what it says. My trust issues are at an all-time high. I don't want to give myself fully again. The way men are always saying that exes hurt them, so their currents mean nothing to them, and. People's boyfriends hit on us every day, so I don't want to be in a position to be cheated on. See? 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 What them Jolo what they do? Guys, like, I've, I've seen... I could not wanna... <laughs> I feel like those people who are, like, in relationships, especially those public, public ones... And then, and then you go like everybody knows what this person you know so hella got the piece of grass and mama. Every piece of a ma aho 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 DM other guys aho by entertainer aho by rangin in like that is so embarrassing, guys. Guys, you go to hell. Like I'm genuinely touched. It has never happened to me, but it touches me because the possibility of it happening just just wrecks my soul guys you'll go to hell <laughs> why are you playing with people's hearts like that especially if it's like public relationships regardless even if it's not a public relationship Michaela, it's more embarrassing if it's like a public relationship when you are so invested in somebody and you're loving them wholeheartedly hold on how they go and dm somebody else and they say all these nasty things <sighs> and i've seen it happen so many times especially in our city and it's just it bothers me still not giving up on love <laughs> Mjolo is stressful it's a scam i tell you it is stressful from somebody who is in a relationship i know that it is very 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 stressful and very draining but it's like um you know when 
you are enjoying some hey it's like working out you know how when you work out it's like painful sometimes <laughs> it's painful sometimes but it's at, at you get to a point where it's like really fulfilling and it's um it's fulfilling it makes it it, it just makes you a better person as a whole you're much happier you're much more energetic you're much more you know like that like i feel like njolo is like that if it's in if you are in a healthy relationship you know it is stressful because it's not always going to be all fun and games i feel like a lot of people get into relationships hoping that every single day you guys are going to be happy every single day you guys are gonna feel like hanging out feel like talking to each other feel like you know yeah all of that but it doesn't work like that it doesn't I, and i feel like a lot of us don't have patience people our age lehai i know that our age mates don't have patience when it comes to just relationships in general even friendships they're very ready to cut people off and not give them chan a chance to actually grow and learn how to love you and work harmoniously with each you other you have to work as a team Yuri you know as my friend Hore, this makes me happy and this works for me and this gives me peace so you do that in order to see me really happy in order to see me really peaceful you understand and then i do the same for you and then we work towards that if you do something wrong you communicate Hore, yo bro i don't like it when you do this so your friend does what your friend um is willing to give you peace by avoiding that thing that's if it's not a ridiculous thing of course you know avoiding doing that thing so that they don't um piss you off or they don't um hurt you or whatever i don't know i feel like it's so simple and we make it so difficult and we're so impatient when one person makes a mistake or no ho, that happens when when a person makes a mistake you're always so quick to be like oh no i'm cutting them off uh -uh. i'm not like that i am always willing to give people chances and teach them how to love me and in turn, um, I learn how to love them the best way that suits them. That's how it works. Okay? So, it is stressful to learn how to love somebody. It is stressful to teach somebody how to love you. But it's all worth it if you guys have the same goal. So, yeah. That's my two cents. Yeah. Can we get a relationship expert? Me! I got one Mjolo Nyesa. Guys, if there's anything that Nyesa's me in this life, it's it's Mjolo. Well, not currently, but yeah, it has. Mjolo yeah. or nice love, it depends on the person you meet. Exactly. That um, that are your intentions are aligned to each other. Huh? <laughs> Wait, it depends on your per in the person you meet and your intentions. And if your intentions are aligned to each other. Yeah, I think that's what they were trying to say. Um, which is true. Because if you have the same intentions... Hello, 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 it's hard. you're working towards a certain goal together and you're being gen you're both being genuine about it then ah it must work right ha, life is not that black and white love is not that black and white <laughs> there are a few gray areas but yeah that's 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 it really it has to work like that i'm gonna keep trying because i know i will find my mesh anyways pain hasn't has, has never stopped me yes and pain shouldn't stop you it didn't stop pain didn't stop you from continuing to work out if you're into fitness <laughs> pain didn't stop you from staying up that night studying for that exam pain didn't stop you from leaving as a whole so why should it stop you from finding love exactly exactly it is so worth it ma now i love love and nsiki but i finally found someone oh this is so cute. Like literally. <laughs> you know when you get into relationships and hello I realized that ah this is an accident. it's worth it. Till they papa you arranged marriages are really that bad. <laughs> Honestly. Had to listen. Love is a beautiful thing. Mjolo is definitely worth it. Ten out of ten recommend. Mjolo is a ten out of ten recommend child. Had the Aljola till kingdom come. Thank you, thank you, child. Thank you. 
that's the energy that's the energy in our channel okay we don't give up on love i don't care how how rough things can get we don't give up on love What's it that open up to the problems? Yeah, no, you see, you see, this is why I'm jolly is such a difficult topic, guys. I love love, so I'll still just go for it and try that. Nihela, when someone tells you they love you, then go for days, but I can but never They don't actually, they don't love you. I feel like that's my definition of love okay it's not my definition but i i know that you love me when it's hard to resist me Irike will text delay and then you you get so excited to text back when you get so excited to meet up with me when you always want to spend time with me because you enjoy my company like that that's love that's literally love Njolo is just fine all you need is the right person who knows what he or she wants exactly and guys you need to normalize communication in relationships hella from the get-go just communicate or you know what i'm i have absolutely no intention in getting into a relationship with you i'm just here for a good time not a long time that will work but it won't work is when you lie to a poor child and tell them hurry you love them you want to spend the rest of your life with them and everything when when i deep down you know hurry you're just there for some nice 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 times and then if you're tired of her you can just drop her when you want that's bull crap okay that's just crap and people like that don't deserve to find love <laughs> keep trying your person really is out there whether you see or believe it or not it gets better mm. no matter how broken you may feel right now here is a little positivity from me your person is out there <sighs> wait a few moments later but guys what if it's just not your destiny to find to to be in a relationship like what if it's not what god has aligned for you so and now we're moving on to like a valentine's valentine's is coming hey valentine's is coming oh, valentine's is coming. where is your boyfriend <laughs> So yeah, I also um posted this question on Instagram, Horror, what do you think of Valentine's? Like what do you think of the holiday and do you celebrate it, right? So this is what people had to say people's opinions child had the nope not by choice with a broken heart <laughs> yes only because bay is into it lol oh that's cute that's so cute that's cute like that's cute when you know your person is into like this holiday so much and then you just compromise and celebrate it with them because you want to see them happy that's um, cute never celebrate it because there is no one to celebrate it with but one day is one day um you don't have to have a boyfriend to celebrate valentine's day news flash i don't cause i'm always single on valentine's day you don't have to be in a relationship to celebrate valentine's day what i think is nice is making random days feel like valentine's day oh yes that's so yes oh uh, yes i'm such a sucker <laughs> i'm only single on valentine's but i don't mind celebrating it because things be hella cheap ma i don't remember what i was saying <laughs> you see the stay of work from home i must fall <laughs> can i hell i just i i miss being home alone um yes it should be celebrated because it's important to show your loved ones how much you love and appreciate them yes yes <laughs> yes i don't give people okay let me not judge but i feel like if it's a mutual agreement in a relationship or you guys should have celebrate valentine's day then sharp but when the other one when the other person was to celebrate and the other one doesn't 
when is the day yeah love anyway 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 valentine is celebrated by lovers janon ronabo isaac makwala <laughs> what does that mean for one man race <gasps> Valentine's is not celebrated by lovers, mostly by lovers, but it's not. But whom is the day? Ya lorato. Lorato is found in relationships with your family, relationships with your friends, and relationships with your lovers, and relationships with God. Ugh. Guys, come on, come on. This is the twenty first century. I appreciate Valentine's, but I don't celebrate it. Why buy flowers and chocolate only on February the 14th? That's a good um, concept. I've heard people who say this, or like, why should your person only celebrate you or show you and shower you with all these things only on Valentine's Day? But I feel like, what do I feel? I feel like, yeah, celebrate it, but also do that on other days. You understand? Like celebrate it and go all out on that day, but on on other days as well, you can still um shower your person with random gifts and um uh ways to show appreciation and stuff. Happy also, also I feel like Valentine's Day has been made in so centered around one love language, yeah receiving and giving gifts which is my top one love language to be honest i love 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 receiving and giving gifts i just thrive from it from with with friends and family and everything but i feel like we hope we also have to understand since it's the day yeah celebrating love you should also take account into other um love languages so you don't always have to uh do your nether gift showering on valentine's day you can also work on other love languages that day even though it should be an everyday thing but i'm just saying that now considering we're celebrating valentine's day is made to seem as if all the time and stuff i don't think it's supposed to be like that i think you can still celebrate valentine's day without the gifts and stuff just not me but <laughs> just not my brand <laughs> but i think if you're just not a person kind of that people who can't receive gifts you know that that people who genuinely just are just like cringe 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 don't give me this <laughs> so if you're just that kind of person then you can celebrate love in different ways to be honest happy yes i celebrate valentine's only when i have someone in my life it's the day of love love is a beautiful thing <sighs> Yes, with myself, cause the single. Had the no, I am a singular. Nope, I don't like it, LMO. Why don't you like it, hey? Why don't you like Valentine's? I'd love to know. Nope, I feel like it's just a regular normal day. No, I cannot boyfriend. Mawe re single. Valentine's again. Then we can talk. <laughs> I'm such a wholesome hun, a hopeless romantic, and a gone girl. So yes, we celebrate love in this house. Yes, child. Yes, I celebrate it so I can get gifts. <laughs> I don't because I'm the one who always gets the partner gifts. Then I don't get nothing. See? That's actually very sad. I was gonna laugh, but then I was just like, no, but like, this is really sad. I'm even getting touched. Like, kind of guys, I'm very sensitive. This is not, this is not it. No. Ugh, no, man. I'm so touched. <laughs> I'm so touched. Happy. Wait, has that ever happened to me? Kind of I'm touched because I relate. I'm trying to think. <sighs> Okay, no, but like it hasn't. What has happened is me being super, super excited about the day, and then my ex is not, not just treating it as if it's a normal day, and then we end up not doing anything. That's sad. That's very sad, especially for me because I really, really, really love um, 
these kind of things like holidays i love christmas i love new year's eve i love uh valentine's easter birthdays i take those things very seriously you are one so being in relationships with people who don't care about that is just the ghetto child <laughs> Ghetto. Ew, ghetto. <laughs> Bitch, that's ghetto. Ew, scary. Um, yes, kind of. Papa Nyan take I get her the out the while I was still back home. Kwanole highly. As in like celebrating. Yes, they do celebrate it. But but that's so cute. You see, you can spend Valentine's Day with your with your family. It's something cute to do as couples or people that appreciate each other. Not too important. It's very important to me. I beg to differ. Yes, I do. I'm a sucker for love. So I go all out ensuring that I'm the happiest on the day. Single on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, 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 child, you honestly, honestly. <laughs> what? <laughs> but for real, on a serious note, guys, you don't need a partner. You don't need a lover to celebrate Valentine's Day. Let me tell you something. So last year, 2020, Valentine's 2020, it wasn't, it, the, 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 the virus hadn't hit yet in our country, okay? And I remember I wanted to celebrate it so much, but I was single. And the thing is, I was single on Valentine's Day for the first time in a very long time. Um, I think all the other Valentine's Day, I was always in a relationship. But this particular one, yeah, last year, I was very single. So I knew, I knew what I was going to be very miserable. I knew what if I hadn't taken action into trying to make the day bearable for myself, I was going to hate it. And hands down, last year, the one Valentine's Day I was actually single was the happiest Valentine's Day of my life. That should tell you something. You don't need a partner for you to be happy on a sitting day to celebrate Valentine's Day. It's the day of love. Show love to your friends. Show love to your family if you don't have partners. Okay? Anyway, I also asked people on Instagram if they had any funny or embarrassing stories that they wanted to share about Valentine's Day. So, let's get into that. Hati. Last got a rose from a secret admirer back in high school. But it's still cute. The fact that it was a secret admirer. I've never had like that. Like I'm such a hopeless romantic. I would cry if I got like um like a, a, a gift from a secret admirer. Like ugh, I'm such a sucker for such. But the fact that it was all the way back in high school and this girl here. <laughs> Is doing her what fourth fifth year in 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 med school uh -uh. child <laughs> i got my ex a gift who was my boyfriend and he gave the gift to his friend the next day ah etabana. no man no no this is just rude you you don't give somebody a gift with so much love just for them to pass it on to their friend friend well it would have been worse if it was another girlfriend but still ah no dude see how the i love valentine's and i'm tired of pretending i don't for men i've never i've i've never had anyone do anything yuri <sighs> I don't like men. <laughs> I don't like men. Ah! If you haven't had anyone do anything, you should try and initiate the thing for yourself. One thing about me is that I am not going to pretend I don't like I I don't like something when I genuinely, truly, honestly love it. So if I'm gonna be in a relationship with somebody, I will tell him, "Hurry, yo, bro! I take this very, very seriously. It is a deal breaker. So it's your choice. If you wanna go, you go." If you don't, if you feel like I'm asking for too much, then sure, let my too much be too much for you. And let me stay alone in peace because I can give myself those things. So my, my, my thing, my advice to you would be try to do those things for yourself and always initiate plans. If you're in a relationship, 
um just initiate valentine's day plans just be like oh yeah babe let's go out on a date i know we never celebrate valentine's but i want to do it this year so let's go out on a date or um, let's spend the day just netflixing and chilling and showering each other with gifts and eating the chocolate strawberries <laughs> laugh <laughs> it's just the whole idea is just <laughs> i know man no <laughs> i'll be getting dumped by every guy as the day approaches if you ever do this to somebody's child you are going to hell i said what i said what he bought a box of chocolates on valentine's day but i never opened it and saved it for the next for the next time we would be together when the time came, I said to him, I got these chocolates from my boyfriend, but I wanted to share them with my best friend because he's both, he's both of those. Why are you so romantic? This is so romantic. Ah, why are you such a cute person? No, this girl is cute, man. No, man, you are cute, okay? This is so cute. So yeah, those were my opinions that were not asked for <laughs> about Mjolo and Valentine's and all of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy this week and this month of love. I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day. Choose to be happy on this day and choose to make it pleasurable for yourself. Even if you are single, it doesn't have to be a day where you have to be in a relationship okay it doesn't have to be like that you can spend it with your family you can go to church you can um uh, spend it with your friends and do a galentine's day kind of thing so yeah um i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like and comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already so that you get notified each time i upload <laughs> this video i'm talking so fast <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, bye!